Hello all 411 of you. Welcome to a tutorial for once on this channel. Now goodbye to this avatar because it is useless for this tutorial. First, summary. This tutorial follows Arch, but you often have to do this for any other Linux distributions as well. Please note, this is not an Arch installation tutorial. This is detailing a portion of the Arch Wiki's installation that is seemingly poorly documented. The Arch Wiki points out how to use GNUPG with a Linux terminal, but this tutorial is if you need to jump ship with Windows. We will be using a version of GPG for Windows, labeled GPG for Win, that you can find on the gnupg.org website. Its GUI environment is called Cleopatra. You should have already checked this SHA1 and MD5 hash using commands like these. Now on to using GPG for Windows. If you only obtained the Arch ISO from a mirror and the Arch ISO.signature file, you will receive one of the following errors when verifying. This had me stumped during the verification process. That's because you need to go to the Arch Wiki's PGP fingerprint link to acquire a public key. You should see a beginning and end string like these. There's no download link for this string of text. That's because you will have to use Ctrl A to select and paste all of the text into Notepad. Then save the file, changing the file type to all files and adding .asc instead of .txt to change it to a PGP keyring file type. You may name it anything you would like before the .asc. In Cleopatra, you will have to make your own username to confirm that you are verifying trust and a key. After you add your own username, import the Arch public key file. Now you're ready to verify the Arch ISO to the signature file. Make sure they are in the same folder and are named the same, with only the signature file containing .sig after it. Now you should see a green message popping up, confirming that this mirror of Arch is a legitimate copy that is safe to use. Congratulations, you're now ready to take the ISO to a live boot disk of your choice. You can now run Arch or your distro of choice knowing that you've gotten a legitimate image from the OG developer. This has surprisingly been one of my first tutorials on this channel, and I hope to make more. I am not yet well versed in Linux, but I wanted to make this tutorial because I was not able to find these specific directions anywhere else for a person that was actually leaving Windows. That being said, if I find something else that I learned that I couldn't find from another Linux YouTuber like this, I might just give another short tutorial like this one. If this helped you or a friend, please like this video, and if you have any feedback on my tutorial style, the dislike button is now missing, so please detail it in the comments below. Keep your profile picture square, and bye.